Sadness is the most maligned and misunderstood of all feelings. Sadness, my whole life is about healing. I can't make them better. Nobody can make them better. What has made them better without exception is when they have been able to find their sadness. Sadness, what they were up against that could not have been changed, that happened to them, that was now in the past, that they couldn't make better. Their sadness, encounters of futility, need to be turned. The sadness, feelings of futility, over time, encounters with futility, as simple as daddy said no, not being able to get one's way, must be felt. Their sadness for adaptation to occur. Their sadness must be felt. Relief from the pressure of stuck emotion because this is where our our mad moves to sad, our alarm moves to sad, our pursuit moves to sad. This is where we're released from the pressure of emotion, where there's emotional reset, where our big emotions like frustration and alarm uh, find resolution because, oh, we can't get through this way. All emotions have purpose. They all want to do something. They all have work to do, but sometimes the work can't be done. That's where the futility needs to be felt. Their sadness <gasps> and the whole demeanor changes. Everything demeanor is so easy to see in the three-year-old and the four-year-old. It gives us rest from doing the same things over and over again that do not work. It also is the key to discipline because when you discipline a child, you confront them with the futility of their action. Look what I'm going to take away from you. You can't get through this way. Unless they feel sad about it, they will have not learned. It is emotional. We need to feel it. When a child doesn't feel sad about what's been taken away, there will be no learning that happens. Only when we feel our sadness can we let go of how it used to be. Uh, what we miss, what we long for, of what it was, and it be replaced by new ways. That is the work of sadness. Recovery of the capacity for fulfillment. Much of our happiness is on the other side of tears that have not been shed. We are so afraid of this place, so fear of the abyss, that we, we lose our own happiness, think we can get it directly by trying to be happy. You can't get it at directly by trying to be happy. Develops resilience as strength results from facing and feeling futility. The brain gets it that when you've had your tears, you can actually survive something not working. When it registers, futility registers, the brain goes, you're still here. You survived. Until then, the brain doesn't know that. Restores hope and perspective. Not trying to think oneself into perspective. Sadness delivers us there. In fact, you could say that emotional health is really about adapting to, to life circumstances. Their sadness must be felt. Sadness.